Cajamarca in northern Peru. In 2011, the $4.8 billion Conga project wanted to mine two highland lagoons and use two more as dumps for toxic waste material. But Maxima Acuna and her family's farm stood in the way. Where would we get the water from if there's no lakes? If it's contaminated, neither animals nor people would be able to drink. That's what this mine would have left behind. She refused to leave her land, in spite of her claims of beatings, death threats, intimidation and court proceedings. She tells CCTV how she was forcibly evicted by the company. The company came with heavy diggers to raise our property to show the people that they were the owners, not me. Then the police took me by the arms and they beat me with their batons. My daughter kneeled in front of the heavy digger which was moving on the property and a special forces policeman hit her in the head with a rifle butt and she fell on the ground. Newmont Mining Corporation denies its employees used force. In 2012, the company tried to evict her through the local courts, but in 2014, a higher court lifted the criminal charges against her. But Maxima claims the systematic harassment continues. They stripped all operator crops, all that we had to eat. Everything has been destroyed. The company says it lawfully destroyed crops and constructions on its property, not the family's land. For Maxima, the struggle continues. I will keep fighting as long as I live or until they take my life. I will never stop. Her exemplary courage has been rewarded with the world's most prestigious environmental award. Dan Collins, CCTV. Peru. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.